Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So glad that you're here. Thank you. Good Hello. morning, Tanya. I love seeing your Good face, morning. lady. Good you're driving, I see. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, Michael's driving. This is wonderful. Look at all these beautiful people. Oh, all, all, all my people. Yes. <laughs> All these beautiful people. Absolutely. Well, good morning, Z team. We are here on another Saturday morning to gather for a coaching session. And this morning, we are just so privileged to hear from the amazing Annabelle Restrepo. She, I don't know if anyone was able to hop on. She did her first corporate presentation in Spanish um, last Wednesday, and there will be more to come. She's working on that. And we will um, obviously have recordings because we want to get that out to as many Spanish speakers as we possibly can. So um, I want to go ahead and if you could all mute, that would be great. Other than Annabelle, of course, but um, I want to go ahead and um, do a couple housekeeping things. Um, if you are going to launch, please make sure and check your emails. There should have been an email that came out to you to um, register however many tickets you have, get the uh, correct names on those tickets. So that is taken care of. So name tags and all that kind of stuff will be um, with the right name. And um, the other thing is, I believe there's going to be an email coming out today uh, from a DBO corporate update. Make sure and read that. At the bottom, there is great news articles coming in that are great um, just to tell how the com what the company's up to, the hirings that they're doing, the you know just all the background of the banking side. So just make sure you always read your emails. I know sometimes there's a lot of them that come through just because there's a lot of stuff going on with Transact Card. And I love this company for keeping us up to date and posted on what's going on. Um, so, and I'll also keep checking your digital office as we call it now, instead of a back office, make sure you keep up to date with that. There's all kinds of stuff updating every day, getting it to be um, perfect so that we can all use it as a tool, as the tool that we all need to use it as building our business. So um, those are the things I wanted to talk about today. And also don't forget about uh, 930 um, AM Pacific. There is the corporate training as well. Aaron Whittier will be teaching on there. So make sure and hop onto that one too. So now I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to the amazing Annabelle Restrepo, who's going to teach us some, just some very, she's phenomenal, you guys, when she teaches. She is very passionate about what she does and what we're doing. And I just love her spirit. And she is just an amazing business partner and family member of mine. Uh, I love her to death. So Annabelle, go ahead and take it away. All right, thank you. Did you feel Colette's music? Don't you just love it? Right, family? It's beautiful, her music. Okay, I like seeing the whole family. I don't like being <laughs> the center. <laughs> so I'm going to do it this way because I like to see all of you. And, um, you know, I want you guys to open your, your, the mic when I ask you to, and it's, it's going to be great. But this is the way I want to open up. I want you guys really, really just to relax right now because I need to relax, right? And I want you guys to go into your mind and just blank. It's a clean state, slate in, in your mind, okay? And let's take three deep breaths because I, I believe that we don't breathe enough, okay? So let's do that, okay? So... Put a big smile on your face. You feel real good right now. Be in the present moment. And just feel in your heart that that maybe something that I might say today will be a gift for you. Because that's my intention for each and every one of you. Because all of you I respect and see as leaders, all of you. Each one of you does the tapestry of what Z Team is. So without, 
each and every one of you, the team would not be the culture that we are. Okay, we're a culture. The company has a culture and we're definitely part of that because we're excited about Transact Card, right? I mean, it is an exciting time, especially, and I'm gonna repeat it, I'm gonna get known for this blue o ocean opportunity, right? That's what we are. But you know what? Z Team is also blue ocean and feel that. We're led by Colette and we have been mentored by somebody masterful He's not here, Michael Zappia, but I know he feels us because everything that we teach here, we learn from that man. And yes, there's things that I've learned in leadership prior to that, but he taught me so many things. And one thing was to be a path changer. So each one of you are a path changer. You just don't know the magnitude of the power of intention that you have with this opportunity to really go out and change somebody's path. And when I say this, I mean, yes, people have their families and they're doing different things and they have a career and they have their profession possibly, right? I'm speaking to each one of you, right? Because you're also a customer and a client at a certain given time right? People approach you, right? So always be open. Never ghost people. Because when you ghost them, then the universe, you're using the polarity and it comes right back to you. So always be open for people. Okay? Breathe again. Right now, we're, it's the best time. This is the timing for this opportunity. You have gold in your hand. One of the power quotes that comes from the Z team blueprint is timing beats talent any day of the week. Timing beats talent any day of the week. Okay. And my topic today is Reach for the buried treasure. Reach for the buried treasure or reach for your buried treasure. And your buried treasure is your mind. This is your treasure right here, believe it or not. Okay. And I want to tell you guys something about myself. And maybe many of you that know me real well know this about me or you maybe not. I may be, you know gone not right so I'm a contrarian I don't know if you guys know what that means it's more of a investing term okay you know what my investment is people people this is a people business okay and I know each and every one of you know that, but take it to a different level. Take it to a different level today. Take consciousness of that, really. Okay? Everybody knows who John Maxwell is, right? He's the godfather of leadership, right? Internationally, right? Time-tested leadership. I'm sure all of you have read the 21 Laws Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Get back to that book. I'll be talking about the first two laws regarding your treasure, right? And the first two laws, if there's 21, do you think the first two laws would be important? The first law is the law of the lid. The law of the lid, L-I-D. And the second one is the law of influence, okay? So I'm a contrarian. A lot of people believe how to handle objections. It's about the law of the lid and the law of influence. It's not about objections. Okay. It's about the law of the lid and about the influence. So the law of the lid is that 
here's Transact Card or any business that you may be involved. We are in a gig economy, whatever you're doing. If you're doing something that uh, you do, that is your passion, that is your baby, right? Because you put a lot of hard work into it, right? The law of the lid states that when the business is here and you're here as a leader and you are all leaders, and I, I'm going to say that over and over again, because I know that these opportunities, we talk about duplication and it is about duplication, right? Monkey see, monkey do, right? And we want that. But as a person passes to a Zoom or a three-way call to the power line, right? who they're passing it to has to have leadership, has to, okay? And yet it's duplicatable because as you come on, you're observing your power line, right? And I know I, I'm always admiring Colette. I wanna be like her when, she grow, when I grow up, okay? That's what I'm always saying to myself. This beautiful, woman, lady, sister of mine. I'm always learning from her all the time. Colette has the biggest heart and I have the utmost respect for her. Okay, why? Because she has strengths that I just don't have. But I have strengths that I'm sure she probably is looking at. And that's why the tapestry is so important. That is why, okay? So you're gonna be called to leadership. And you know what? You're a leader. If you're a parent, if you're a grandparent, if you are even a master to a pet, you're a leader. Okay? If you have a, a business, a brick and mortar, or an online business, you're a leader. Because you have to be there. You got to show up, right? So the law of the lid says that your business is here and your leadership is here. And that you rate your you, you rate yourself from a scale to one to ten. You know that that has to be within yourself, right? From one to ten. Ten being top, one being there's potential, and you just have to sharpen your sword. That's all that means. Okay. So the law of the lid says if you're a leader, or you're running some business, or doing some work, right? Whatever you're you're doing. I mean, it could just be even a job. All right. But all the systems in place are only as good as the people that that run it. OK, so the law of the lid says that if, if you're a four or a five and your business is here, your business is always going to hit where you're at. That's how companies come down and go bankrupt or fail. It's not about the company. It's about the leadership. And the positions go up as you go up. So your journey is to lift the lid. But what's your investment? What's your commodity? People. People join people. People follow people. That's another power quote. Okay? As good as this is, one of the laws and John Maxwell is the law of buy-in. They have to buy into you first before they buy into anything. That's why your music is so important, right? Energy is caught. It's not taught. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. That's another power quote that Michael Zappia taught us, right? We have a blueprint. It's called now the Z-Team blueprint. And... I'm going to pressure my lovely collect. Somebody's got to redo it so everybody gets that because it's so powerful, right? Very, 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 very powerful. So that's really important, the, the law of the lid, because it's one of, tw it's number one of 21. And then the second one is the law of influence. And influence is leadership. Nothing more, nothing less. That's exactly what John Maxwell says. Nothing more, nothing less. 
So when you're dealing with people um, and they have objections, right? What, what I call really a block, you know, they're just blocking yourself. It's really important that you're not trying to dodge that because when if energy is caught, now they see you become defensive, right? Because you want to go over there and punch them. <laughs> this is so good. Don't you see it? <laughs> no, you have to maintain your music, right? Right? The music is in you, right? And you have to maintain it because as Jeff, and I wish Jeff was here today. I don't know if he's on, but taught us the other day that it's it's they have to like you. They have to listen to you. They have to trust you. And then they'll join you. But I'm a contrarian. So they have to like you. They have you have to listen, right? They have to trust you. You got to reach for the treasure. And then they join you. Okay? So it's like, listen, trust, treasure, and join. So the treasure is, I, I have it broken down. You might want to take notes. Here's another power quote. Your worst notes are better than your best memory. Your worst notes are better than your best memory. Okay? So, take out your paper, make it a line, divide it. And remember, I said the treasure is here. So, you guys all know Jim Rohn. I love that, man. May he rest in peace. I love him so much. I believe in everything that he teaches. Except, I'm a contrarian. <laughs> he says, when you're new, and even this happens to seasoned people, okay? This is the truth, because I'm a contrarian. He says, make up in numbers what you lack in skill. That's what he says. Well, my contrarian thought is you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. And I'll tell you why. Because if you do that, you're going to burn yourself. Okay. And I'm going to explain to you why. You're going to get discouraged. Because even though this is a blue op uh, ocean opportunity, I know you guys have all encountered already. No, whatever. Okay. Because you're trying to handle objections and it's really about influencing okay so when you come into this and as you bring in on your team you might say well Annabelle I don't really need that I was here from the beginning or whatever but you're bringing on your investment what's your investment people <laughs> that's your investment that's your commodity you have to hold that <laughs> right you may be there but they're not there right and a true leader a true leader exercises the law of addition right when when it's not about making you better it's about making them them better right because perhaps you're already there with the law of the lid you know where you're at and where you need to grow right but it's okay it doesn't matter if you're a one or two or three or four or five get them on a, a colette with the colette daniels right and let's see what the, where the magic happens right there right and you're observing you're observing right because that's where the it, it it's also all the strengths of, of, of everyone. And trust me, each one of you, each one of you, Brian, Dr. Klein, Tanya, Marissa, Mark, Michelle, Rock and Dave, Gina, Tomas, Dustin, Suzanne, Lisa, Steve, all of you have a treasure right here. And you can change it like that like that, okay? So there's two kinds of people for the treasure, okay? The first one is your inner circle, the people you know, the people you love and respect. This may be family, friends, colleagues, right? That's on the first list, all right? And I understand that there's family members that, you know, like Tony Robbins says, you love them and leave them, meaning you love them and you live your life, but you love them and you pray for them. On the second half 
is your acquaintance. Okay? Your acquaintance, and on that list is also new people. You guys, there's no such thing as strangers. Get that out of your head. There's only acquaintance and new people. Meeting new people is the spice of life. The blueprint says. So where's the stranger? There's none. We embrace all. Okay? In your business. So who is new people and acquaintances? It can be an extended family member or even a close family. You don't know them that well. I know siblings that don't even talk to each other or whatever still. So they're an acquaintance because they kind of grew up with you or somehow, somehow you know something about them. You may not necessarily have like mine, right? Notice I said like mine. I didn't say, oh, he's mean, he's this, he's that. I didn't say that. I said, you're just not like-minded. Right? Why? Are you going to drain your energy on that? Then you, your business starts going like this. Because the lid, you just demoted your lid right there. You don't want to demote your lid. Right? Don't want to demote your lid. That's your investment also and yourself, okay? So love them and leave them. When I say leave them, leave them alone, but love them, right? And also on that side is meeting new people is a spice of life. Get out in your community and join network groups, right? Do that. I know Mary Sherry goes to a place, Panera, and they meet and right? That, that's your thing. If that's your thing, do it. Sometimes I do it. I do it once or twice a month. Why? I have a special needs son, but we can do it. So I encourage you, all the handsome leaders, gentlemen that are here, put on a lime green shirt and get your little butt into a little networking meeting. Okay? And you guys are all good looking. So all of you, every single one of you, right? And show your strength. I know they have green shirts. If you don't like it, fall in love with the color green. Because the color green, go look up what the color green means. Look at Mary Sherry and she's, I don't know, talking or whatever, but she's got that green on. She's got it going on. And I was going to wear mine today. And believe it or not, I'm clean, but sometimes I'm a little disorganized. And I, I'm normal, just like everybody else. <laughs> so I had to grab the first top I found, right? So going back to the treasure, I'm going to use, is Steve still on? Steve, turn on your I camera. Am, yeah, I am. I'm working, though, but go ahead. Okay. I don't know, Steve. I haven't had the pleasure to meet him yet. One day, I will. But I know he's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Right, Steve? I am, yeah. And I listen with intention. I'm listening to all of you as you go on Facebook on Z Team and give us something leadership. And Steve just put out his. And he said that Pittsburgh is a, a drinking town with a sports problem. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is my kind of guy, right? And then he goes, it's a cold drink. We like cold drinks, but we know what he really meant, right? But you know what I really loved about Steve and that leadership tip? I'll tell you what Steve did for me with that. He said... When he opened up, he said, for the new people. Then he said, whether you're a sports fan or not, I'm not. He got my attention. And then a third time, he said, for you non-sports people. And I'm like, this is my guy, really. Okay? I'm talking about the treasure right there. I heard him smile. Did you hear him? He's working, but he laughed. Did you guys hear that? I'm influencing him. Okay? 
I'm influencing him. Subliminally, that's what I'm doing. Okay? And he talked about um, some three main coaches and how the picks for speeders is the thing. I don't know. I'm not a sports person. But he already embraced me because three times he said, if you're not a sports person, and so I kept on listening, right? So he did something for me. He gave me treasure. And I'm giving. And I prayed this morning, Steve, that you would be on. <laughs> Just so you know. Because I wanted to use you as an example. And I thought, well, Annabelle, what are you going to do if Steve's not on? Well, I was going to use an example of, of my own team that, that are, are here. But I wanted to go, I'm a contrarian. And I wanted to, he's my Z team family, yet he's not in my organization. Doesn't matter, right? So he's the perfect example. I don't know him personally, right? Yet I think by that video, what he did for me was he included me. And what I'm doing for him, I'm trusting Steve, in my heart, that you feel me right now. Do you? He might not be able to work, answer because he's working. But I'm going to trust that he is. So that is the buried treasure. Okay? Now, when you're dealing with your family, before you start telling them and burn them about this, you want to reach for your buried treasure. What, what memory do you have of them? When did you share a time with them? When were you around their space? When were you at a, an event with them? That's how you want to open. You don't want to open by how's the weather. That's a good thing. But if you open with your treasure, that's much better. Open with your treasure. So that's why I'm a contrarian to make up when you're new, make up in numbers what you lack in skill. No, you open with your treasure. Doesn't matter about the numbers there. Okay, because the average is going to go high because of your treasure approach. Okay, trust me, it will. When you get to the end of you wanting them to look at what you have, you got their dopamine going, the happy hormone, right? You got the happy hormone going on for the person. And I'm not saying this at 100%, but let me tell you, it does yield pretty high. And then I just go and I just say, because I know I touch his heart. I just know he doesn't have to answer, but I know, okay? Because I know from experience, let's just put it that way. It's not because, oh, I'm so good. No, 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 no. It's just because of the numbers, okay? And because I've done this for so, for so long, and I wasn't, always, I wasn't always as prevy as I am maybe to, 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 today, but I've always started with the treasure, okay? And so when you start with the treasure, you... You hit the happy hormone because you're talking about a happy time. Or it might be a treasure that they treasure. And you want to talk about that, right? So then when I end, sometimes I get nervous just like every one of you. But I still do it. That's a clue. I still do it. And I said, Steve, would you do me the courtesy of looking at something for me. And you know what? The treasure is so that he's going to say yes. I've never had a no. When I get the no, it's because they have to run off. But I circle back. And I said, hey, I want to pick up with you. When is a good time? And when I circle back, I start with the treasure a different treasure, okay? The treasure in that conversation we had, that first one, he might have said something new. Annabelle, I just had my grandson, my grandbaby. By the way, I went to Steve's Facebook. 
I don't know if it's his grandbaby, but I, I'm assuming it's his grandbaby, right? It, it may be. Okay, it is. Colette saying, right? So I know right now I'm tugging on his heart. So I just say, hey, you know what? That little boy is just, he's too darling. My God, Steve. When I circle back, I'm still going for the treasure. Do you see why you don't? do numbers not with people that people that you have whether you you like them or don't like them or whatever that inner circle that you know it, it's just like when you throw a, a rock on the pond and the pond just right right you have that those people okay so I think I'm going over the time so let me fi finish there you guys Right now is the time. Know that you're a treasure. Just know that in your heart. I'm going to leave you with the last power quote. The future is bright. It's bright green. I love you all. Thank you. And I could have gone on, but I'm trying to get better at time. Okay? So thank you so much. I love you all. Wow. Annabelle, you are so amazing. I'm just... You know, she always tells me, Annabelle always tells me that she spent years and years and years on personal development. And I'm telling you, it is is so much a mindset. It's it really is. And and it's just changing that mindset to do what you want to do. Get out of your own way. And and talk to people, find their treasure. I just love what you taught on today because, you know, no matter how many times I heard it from Michael or or whatever. It's just so good to update um, our mindset. And it's it was beautiful. Thank you so much for that. And, you know, um, make people feel special. Make people feel special. That is the number one key. And meeting new people is a spice of life, like Annabelle said. If you can, you can figure out those two things. Wow. Who, who are the people you can touch? And it's not to do, you know, to pull a fast one on them. I mean, we have something great to share. So it's, it's also working on yourself because you're becoming a better person because you're making people feel special. It's incredible what it'll do. And like Annabelle said, energy is caught, not taught. We can't tell, teach people to have the energy that you have, but you can be who you are and they can catch your energy. What a beautiful thing. If we can all change up our energy so that people can catch our energy, just think of what a world we can make. There's a lot of people out there that need some, some great energy, right? A lot. And there's a lot of people out there who could use this card to stretch their money to the end of the month. So many people don't have money to make it to the end of the month. So many people are looking for an opportunity. I wasn't, I didn't think so, but I really was. I'd been asking for years for something like this where I could help millions of people. Got to be open. You got to be ready because when something you've asked for is dropped into your lap, you need to listen and you need to take it to the world because there's a reason it dropped in your lap. And this was what dropped in my lap. And I'm so grateful for those that I was able to take it out to and find their treasure and give them another treasure so that we can take it out and share it with everyone we know. So Annabelle, thank you so much <clears throat> for sharing your heart. You always do. This woman is amazing. She is just incredible. The people that she brings to me, 
and the treasure that she shares with me of her own, but those people that she puts on with me, I am always, I have chills because she shares their treasure and she gets tugs on their hearts and it's just beautiful. So thank you, Annabelle, once again for sharing. And thank you all so much for coming on this morning. And what a beautiful teaching. Let's take our treasures out to the world and share what we have in our hands. Okay? Don't I love on. you guys. Thank you, Annabelle. Great job. All all right. Right. Thank you, Annabelle. That's incredible. Thank you, Colette. Go get it. Give your treasures. Thank you. Go do it. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a great Saturday.